Hey, hey, dirty trucking, dirty trucking. Oh, let me see if I can clean this real quick. It look kind of foggy. I think I done figured out a little bit of this lottery here. Because I told you. Yeah, can you see me a little better now? A little bit. I think, uh... I told you that they, I believe they've been playing some sort of little lottery game with me. And I think I figured out a little bit of it. Uh, I've been watching the uh, Michigan three digit here because that's all I would play anyway because I don't, I don't play anything else. Um, and the numbers that I've seen come out in the past couple of days uh, are numbers I've thought about, but don't play. I just happen to think about it. Or there are numbers that in a conversation about something I just happen to just speak of. Like today, um, the lottery, the evening failed, and I played the evening. Because uh, I, ain't, I ain't playing on both of that shit. That was a waste of goddamn money. I wasted shit. Probably $15 I could have kept in my fucking pocket. And then one of them numbers was even close to the number that came out. So the evening number failed today was 770. And uh, that's a number I spoke of earlier uh, when I was talking about the code that that guy, um, when he tried to steal from me, uh, the code that came to my phone, they started 7-7. And I remember speaking that to somebody. Uh, it was 7-7-something. So what I see has been going on, uh, I don't know how you know what I'm thinking of a number to be doing that shit. I don't know how they know what I'm speaking to uh, pull a number sort of on the lines of what I just said. Uh, the other day, um, 190 fell. I think that was yesterday. And then before that, I think it came uh, 019 backwards. Um, but I was just thinking about a zone that I worked in at one truck plant, 9190. And I was at 9190. I remember I was over in that zone. And I just happened to have it on my mind. And... That number come out. It just took the nine off. 9190. It came 190 yesterday. And I, I, I'm, I'm figuring it out. Um, and it's a true story. You can believe it or not. Something that I talked about on the line in that plant, at Warren Truck Plant, I talked about it on the line to a co worker that worked across from me. All right, what if you can use your, like, mental psyche to play the lottery? What if people could show you, you know, do little things or say something that would give you a hint to play the lottery? I just talked about it. But that seems to be what they did. Um, All this weird shit, but when it comes to the Mega Million... They got to do something extra special. They uh all these weird phone calls, unusual problems start. Uh, like today, today was the uh, it's the um I think it's the Powerball or Mega Million. Mega Million, I think today. Uh, they already started some some phone call to my phone from some private number. They they always 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 starting something to I, I don't know why they got to contact me to do that shit. But that's what I've been noticing. Uh, the past couple of days, numbers that I thought about has came out. Numbers that I don't play. I just sat there and had a thought of the number. So what's this telling you? I kept telling you they were playing some sort of game with my thoughts. You can lie about it all you want to. I am 100% positive that that's what's going on here. That's the reason all my ideas are stolen. Um, when I came up with the idea to create my journal to, to sell online, uh, not only did it, it sell, it didn't sell. They stole it and switched one of them. I created another one. I don't, I don't have any royalties off of it. Nothing. And they've been posting stuff on Facebook, like to jog childhood memories, like you trying to verify I'm who I am. Um, hair, pink hair rollers. I used to wear back when I was a kid. Um, then it was this thing 
where you could order books. It was a specific book ordering form. And I remember, I remember it from a kid. And it's like they playing games. If I didn't order any books, so if I become an adult and create something to sell because I didn't order a large amount of books, ain't nobody ordering shit for me. They, they, they playing some game off my past. Now that much I have figured out. They're playing a game off my past. And then this here, passing out shit. Uh, they like to make you feel, make me feel uh, dizzy, like I'm gonna pass out. Let me tell you where that came from. It came from a dream that I had about winning the lottery. It came from a dream. No, and then I joked about it. No, that wasn't even from a dream. I joked about it with somebody. I said, if I win the lottery, I'm just gonna pass the fuck out. So they've been around here doing stuff to make me feel like I'm, I'm about to pass out. I be riding around this city and getting in certain areas and feeling like I'm about to pass out. I'm feeling the feeling right here in the car. They'll make me feel like I'm about to pass out or, or faint off of some shit I said from back in the goddamn day. So I'm 100% positive that they've been playing some sort of game off of my childhood all the way up to adulthood from back in the day. And I don't know who did this shit, who had the capability to sit up and get hold to me and do something to me that would enable them to know or hear or however you doing it, my thoughts. Because I have caught these people when I be in the store, like Walmart. And on another thing for Walmart, I'm getting tired of your workers following me around like I'm a motherfucking thief in a store. You better get your shit to goddamn together. That's a store that sells cheap shit. I don't steal cheap shit. I don't steal, period. But I'm tired of when I got to walk around that store to go replace shit, I got to look at their workers following me around in that store like I'm on some sort of thief. I ain't got to steal shit from no damn Walmart. Okay, now back to my damn story. Like I said, it's some game they playing off my life. Uh, shit I've said, uh, shit that I've said on the line at one truck plant, shit I've said in the past, shit I've talked about today, shit that has happened today. And I don't know how the lottery would know about a number I just thought or a number I just innocently spoke and it happened to come out. But had I played a number, it wouldn't come out. Long as I speak it or think it and don't play it, it comes out. And this is some game. People come talking about, I played it. I played it. Then I hear other people talking about, don't play the game. Don't play the game. Because if you play the game, you are participating in something that is illegal. See, when you go in there free to play the lottery with your own numbers, that's not illegal. But when you start doing stuff to me, to cause yourself to, to, to win some money, that's illegal. Also, I wouldn't devise a game, a game that's supposed to generate me money and it's not working for me. I wouldn't devise that kind of game. So I don't know who did this, but I know all my problems is because somebody seems to know my thoughts. I've caught these individuals standing around in stores. When I be standing there thinking something, they all of a sudden pause and it's like they're going like this. Like they're listening. Like they have something where they can hear what the fuck I'm saying. They used to do it in casinos. They think I know which machine is finna hit. They come running over there to the goddamn machine. Jump on it before I get on it. Or you follow me around watching what area I am. I'm in and they jumping on all the machines over there. Because they think this one, one of these has got to be it. That's what the fuck they've been doing. I don't know who the fuck did this shit. But. You wrong for this goddamn shit. God knows what you did. And I'm sick of this shit. I'm sitting up here spending my money. Playing the lottery. The right way. And these motherfuckers been winning off of shit. That I was thinking about 
talked about. While I'm not winning shit. I wasted $15 today on some numbers and now one of them came out. But I'm, I'm, I'm kind of figuring this shit out. And the more I talk about what I think is going on about it, the more people trying to do it. I got somebody that I know very well that seems to be participating in that. Calls me up to get me in a conversation to get me to talking. And if I talk about a number or use of place, you want to know what it is. I got somebody I know that's actually, I think, is doing the same fucking thing. And that don't make no goddamn sense. That you would sit up here and use me to think about something that they figuring out and winning. And I'm not winning shit because you know I'm not playing the numbers like that. So we got a problem here. You know damn well hell, I'm not playing lottery like that. So how do you expect me to win numbers if I'm not playing them like that? But you won't stop the dumb ass game. You act like I'm I'm hooked to the goddamn lottery computer. When they started pulling these numbers in private here, that's when the bullshit started. You used to be to go on TV and watch them pull the numbers in front of you. And I noticed back then they was doing the same shit. I caught them twice. Back when they used to do the numbers on TV. When they went to this midday shit, started pulling the numbers twice a day. I told you, I caught them one day. They pulled a number for the midday. And then when they get ready to pull the evening number, this is on the three digits they did this shit, a three digit. When they pulled the evening number, they always reshow the number that fell out in the midday. But this time, the numbers was rearranged. Same numbers, but rearranged. I kid you not, true story. They know everything I did. They know everything else. They know everything about me. So you should know I called a lottery board here about that. I said, that ain't the number that fell. I told them. I said, that's not the number you pulled in the midday. The numbers is rearranged. She's in hundred. She, she playing it off. The numbers is rearranged. Now, this is back when I was at Warren Truck Plant. Before I even discovered any of this shit that's going on now. Before any of this jumped off, before they accused me of being crazy, before these doctors they sent me to got hold to me and flicked on whatever it was they was talking about I was disabled of. This way before then, I caught them doing that. And I told you, I used to date a guy. His name was Tyrone. Now, Tyrone plays the numbers avidly like I do. People who play the numbers and who gamble watches we catch his shit, we peep shit, we know shit, because we play. Now, I don't play the numbers like that no more. I don't have money to waste like that no more. And I'm, I'm not winning nothing. I wasn't then either. So, this particular day, the number had failed. And um, I had told him of my story of how I saw they, do the, they did that shit a long time ago when I was working at Warren Truck Plant. I was at home. They had pulled the lottery numbers. Then they posted them. Po reposted the midday numbers. And it wasn't the same order. And I said, you know what that means? When they do shit like that, all the people that had the number when it fell in the midday and that set of numbers they posted, they hit off of. And then when they reposted those goddamn numbers, when they pulled the evening, when they rearranged them and reposted it, all those people off of that hit. They've been doing this shit long before they got a hold of me and flicked on some goddamn device. I caught that. I caught that. So, he called me one day. And, uh, because he always used to ask what the number was. You see what the lottery was? And, uh, he called me one day. We said, what you say that number was? Because I had already told him about this story that I saw years ago. I called the lottery about it. I called him. I called him twice. You don't believe me? They know everything else about me. Say I'm lying on that. I called him. And I told him. I saw what you did. I saw what just happened. 
So he called me and uh, he said, what you say that number was? I said, so-and-so, so-and-so. He said, you right. I said, he said, I mean, he said, you right. They did rearrange the numbers. They switched. He caught it. He saw it. It used to happen in the casino. My, when I get through playing a machine and print out your, your, your money on this little slip, I have a couple dollars missing. Maybe up to, I think the largest amount I seen come off of there was $5. $5 a dollar, a penny. Or the machine has just stopped. Or it'll spin and my hands ain't nowhere near it. All this shit would take place. I told you, why would you think every time I get any one of these cars, all of a sudden, I got the damn check engine symbol on here. Something with a sensor. And it's got to be something on me or about me or in that phone that's triggering that shit. All I know that the basis of it, these people need to have my, they need, they want the phone number. They be trying to get my phone number. Because when they get my phone number, they start feeling shit. I told you when that shit happened out there in Pontiac, they, that 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 shit wasn't wasn't a uh, 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 coincidence. It was deliberate, cause they wanted my phone number. They want to sit up and feel some some freaky shit, or call themselves making me feel some sexual shit. This shit, I'm telling you, I have felt some shit that will be deemed. A sexual a fucking assault. And you ain't got no fucking business coming around somebody, making them feel that shit, or sitting up here, and I done seen them sit up in this goddamn car like they sitting back there feeling something going on with them. Like I'm doing the shit. I'm not doing shit to you. You telling me something I thought about about somebody sexual they back there feeling the shit. Or you trying to make me feel some shit because you sitting back there looking at me. Don't nobody want to feel that goddamn shit. God did not put me on this earth for you to put some damn device on my motherfucking ass. For me to be feeling that shit, to make people feel that shit, and then they were getting pissed off because I didn't want to do the shit. I know what you was doing. You think I'm supposed to sit up here and use my mind to make you feel some sex shit? You dirty, freaky bitch. You need to be in jail like P. Diddy is. This fucking shit y'all doing. He ain't the only one out here doing freak shit. Y'all got some secret freak shit. And y'all need to be next to him in the goddamn jail for this shit. But you took it a step further. You need to branch this shit out into the goddamn lottery. That's why they coming in the apartment. Watching everything I bring in there. Switching shit. Moving shit around. Laying shit here and there. Because when I talk about what they done done. It's giving these motherfuckers. That they done already set up. The, the clues. To when they go in this place. Where the winning shit is. I done gave them the clues. Of what they need to play. The color. The, 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 the number. Or whatever if it's a scratch off. Especially if it's a scratch off. That's why they've been coming in and scratching up my table. They done scratched up my glasses. I wore my contacts one day to an event. Came back, the scratches right here. I didn't put these, I got a long gash in here. I don't wipe my glasses with anything to put a scratch in it. They've been scratching my glasses up. They've been doing this shit since I was over the road. Had brand new glasses. They came on a semi truck and messed them up. They poured something on this when the coating is kind of messed up. This recently happened. I don't have anything in my apartment that would take the coating off my damn glasses. I don't have anything. They go in there scratching shit. Because you want to know why? When they scratch the shit in my apartment, it makes them feel the scratch wherever they is. That's what I think is going on. They will go in the apartment and scratch shit. And if they feel me, feel some like, and I call it fake scratching. You're going to feel like something's scratching you. So that lets the individual know they wear whatever it is to win. That's what I believe is going on. Because they done scratched up all my goddamn furniture. They done broke the arm on my couch. They scratched up my dining room table. They scratched up my glass cocktail table. They done fucked up everything. 
I can't even buy furniture. I can't buy shit to put in my apartment without them bitches coming in there putting their hands on it. I bought some needles for thread. I bet you they done went in a box and, and messed with them, touched them. Been in the clothes. I can tell the, the new pants I bought got to look like a bleach line in them. Them pants don't come like that. Then that day, that, that day before I wore them yesterday and discovered it. But a couple days before that, I picked up a lady in Southwest Detroit, Mexican lady, got in here smelling extremely like bleach. I told you, they come around telling you what they did. I don't have bleach in my apartment. I don't have anything in there that would bleach anything for a line to be in my pants. But what I did notice, I bought the clothes from Foreman Mills. I remember getting out the car, going somewhere, and then coming back to the car. And I moved the bag. I remember seeing a cut at the bottom of the bag. And then throughout the day, people were saying, you want the receipt, you want the receipt. They were letting me know something was just done. So you can rig something where I'm supposed to allow these motherfuckers to come in my come in the car I'm driving, go in my apartment, fuck up my clothes, fuck up my shit, and I don't get to do shit, shit, shit to them, nothing. You done lost your goddamn mind. And then, then when 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 they do illegal shit to me, now law enforcement was lying to me about whether how to report it, when they, who to report it to. And then if I report it. They ain't doing shit. Nothing. All of them playing this game. Because all of them want money. Let me tell you something. The root of all evil is money. And you some evil ass people for doing that goddamn shit. I don't know how you devised this shit. You took shit I talked about. And turned it into profit for somebody else. But you bugging the hell out of me. Want to read everything I write. Listen to everything I say. Get me into a conversation so I can spread out some numbers and shit. Because they greedy. It's all greed. You're all evil. And you all need to go to hell for this shit you're doing. You didn't win that money by you won it. You was greedy. You devised something that's evil. You've been fucking with me to do it. You're an evil breed of people. And I'm sick of this goddamn shit. That's why I ain't got no fucking money. This dirty truck and I. You can believe this shit or not. I'm sitting up here telling you what the fuck the truth is. Why the fuck you think these people hanging around me? Why you think they watching me like they do? Why you think they always want to have their ass around me? I'm sick of this shit. And even the other thing I'm sick of. I'm tired of you Trump supporters coming around me with your bullshit. I don't support Trump, and I'm letting you know this right now. I never did, never will. 